Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to add additional storage to your HP gaming desktop. Alright, so here I have the HP Omen as well as the 1TB 3.5 inch hard drive. So I'll be adding this here as a secondary drive. Therefore, I would have extra capacity to put my data over or transfer some of the important stuff in there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And uh, the first thing you like to do is to take a look at the back of your desktop. Here in the back of it, it says internal access. This button right here, you need to press it down and hold it. So go ahead and press and hold that back internal access while you're holding that button. You can go ahead and lift up the side panel. So this is the glass side of it. So you need to press and hold while lifting up the side glass panel. So when you lift it up, slide it out. There you have it. We just remove the side panel. Now original hard drive, I mean the original computer that comes with the NVMe drive, the SSD NVMe, as well as the secondary uh, additional capacity, right? So this is the regular hard drive, the 3.5 inch. And there is a secondary bay, so that means this additional slot allows you to add additional hard drive. So this video here, I just want to show it to you. Uh, you can add additional hard drive to the secondary slot. So you would have three hard drive in total, one SSD, secondary a secondary B all right let's go ahead and continue with the process so the next step you like to do is to go ahead and make sure that the cable is outside of the bay so just remove this okay open up the clipper now the hard I mean the power cable and the SATA is outside of the bay and the next step is to go ahead and pinch the both side of it and slide it up. So pinch them and slide it upwards. Okay, so here's the additional. Um, this is the hard drive. So what you want to do is you want to align them like so. So the, the two holes would be aligning with the two um, pointers here. So align them. insert them in a way like so and the other side just flip it in so clip it in it and you just have to kind of like um, pull it apart not to break it but just pull it and then you would go back in okay so like so and uh, there you have it and you just insert it back in now once you're done with that part go ahead and get the SATA cable install it as well as the power cable push it down and install all right so you just install the power cable as well as the SATA cable now the computer in the BIOS would see additional hard drive but when you log into your Windows side of it you won't be able to see that it won't populate until you initialize the disk now I'm not able to show it to you here in the video, but I'll explain it to you how you're gonna do that. You're gonna put the side panel back in, right? Assuming that you have everything uh, installed correctly, you just put the side panel back in. Once you have done putting the side panel back in, connect all the cables, the USB, the power back to your computer, you turn it on and it boots to the login screen. So once you put in a password, you log in, uh, the next thing you need to do is to move the cursor to the bottom left to the bottom left of that start windows icon the start windows icon you want to right click and go to disk management and once you go into the disk management a window will pop up and in that window you want to look for uh, the black color on that drive that says you need to initialize it okay so you're going to right click on that and initialize the disk once you initialize the disk, then you would have the additional hard drive. 
Alright, I hope that this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.